in today's sermon, we're going to do something unusual. We're going to pretend as if the voice of the Lord is speaking through a person. And when we do this, we want you to put yourself in the incubation stage of a child facing God in the midst of not crisis, not alignment with Him, but out of step with the Lord's house. In my screenplay, I do a lot of scenes. And there are people that want to steal the language that a man has written. But I want you to understand that you are fully stealing from the house of the Lord when you steal from me or anyone else. Today's scene is God's house. Please listen in, please enjoy, please take it in, and allow your guides, your angels around us all, to talk to you in your soul. In America, Americans have rights. Those rights are something that this gentleman is always talking about. But you and in your infinite wisdom before me, the Lord Most High, have decided to abate yourself of rights. You made the choice today to steal from someone who's homeless. You made the choice in every way to deny my life. You denied Christ today when you stole those items. You denied my Lord's house, which is me, in every way when you took from him. When you took from that man, you took from me. When you took from that man his beard, you took from the worship of the Lord, which is me. When you lied to yourself, you lied to yourself. When you chose Satanic practices, you made a choice to deny me, Christ, the Holy Father of all things and eternity. Your life when you come through these gates will not be pretty. Your life will not be full of joy and laughter and song and dance to me. Your life will be walking through the gates of Satan's house because Satan's house is that louse, that liar, that alcoholic, that shitbag that I call quite clearly with the words that I teach everyone in America and around the world. You see, as the creator of the world, I can create languages, I split the country and the continent, and I gave the world foreign language. But it's not foreign to me or any of my angels. It's not even foreign to the satanic force that is working through you today. But you lied to yourself in front of me, the Lord Most High, and that makes me vehemently angry. We have COVID today because of men who lie about me, men who profess my name but then glorify Satan. A person like you has glorified Satan in every way when you mistook your rights today. You mistook your rights thinking you had the right to open a man's house who was trying to stay warm, to ruin the way that he set it up in your scorn. You took his bungee cord, you plucked it, you cut it, you destroyed it, and it wasn't yours to take. The liar in you stole everything from a bag. To do what? To make yourself feel powerful in the night in front of no one? But you weren't in front of no one, were you? You were in front of me, God Most High. You were in front of me and Christ, my child, who died for you. You see, the Lord had his child die for your sins, but he didn't die so that you could keep sinning against me. You have sinned against my house. I provided those cords through income and earnings and findings to that man. But you lied to yourself about your rights today. And every day you lie to yourself about your rights in every way. And every day you tell yourself, I'm good, I'm okay, but you're not okay in my house in any way. You lied to yourself when you cut that man's beard. He grew for the worship of me. You lied to yourself when you thought you had the right to commandeer a body to sexualize your fantasy. You lie to yourself thinking that that man does not have Christ. And let me tell you, that man has more God in him than any other person that you know today. I can tell you this because I am the Lord Most High. I know every soul of every child across the world in every way. I planted the seed of the soul in a body. But people do stupid things when they get all hotty toddy or when they've drank one of those, you see. And his soul is fully on in my house in every way. I have given him prophetic gifts. 
I have given him finding skills. I have given him the gift of life in every way. I gifted you life, too. But you didn't think about who your life goes back to, did you, in any way? The sinner that you are is evident by far. You stole from a homeless man's house. How dare you think you'll stand before me and earn your life in heaven in any way? And you're arrogant about what you think hell might be. You think, I don't care if I go to hell. I don't mind the serpents. I don't mind the monsters. I don't mind the demons. I don't mind because I'm superior to God today. You see, you lied to yourself about how that man earned those things. He earned those things by listening to the Lord. He earned those things because he built himself a business and a family and a network and a resource income that is his. I gifted him those things. The things he owns belong to me and he knows it in every way. He doesn't protect his goods, it's not true. He protects what's important to me in every way. He speaks about the soul of America. He speaks about the spirit of a child. He speaks about proper parenting so kids don't go hog wild. But I am the orator and the creator and the architect of all heavens and earth, and you stand there, not shivering as you should, on earth. The liar in you is always the liar. The liar in him you claim you know to be higher, but the truth is you're not higher than me, Lord Most High. I am omnipotent, I am omnipresent, and I am always on fire for me. You are on fire for you, but how do you do what you do? Do you make the heaven? Do you plan the earth? Do you give children life and death and birth? Do you know who God is today? Are you so full of your way that you cannot see the Lord in that humble man today? You're so arrogant about your life that you're living above the poverty line in strife, but you think you're smarter than that man today. He teaches you that he's stolen from him, and what do you do? You steal from him in every way. You steal from my house, the Lord's house, every day. You steal my time that I've gifted you. You steal my dime that I give to other people. You steal from the Lord's house, motherfuckers, and I am the orator of all language, all vocabulary, all around the earth. My angels know how to swear through people who are gifted and prophetic and channeling and oracles of old. An oracle teaches the truth. A medium gives some proof, but a channel of the Lord is never who you're going to be. You have violated my life. You have violated Christ. You have violated your own rights. And you will die eventually. Whether I take you today or whether I take you tomorrow or whether I take you in six months' time with COVID, that is my right to decide. But you dishonored me in every way when you stole from me. You see, I am in that man every day. I guide that man in every way. I helped him to purchase and to provide for himself the technology cords he needs for his life, but you and your arrogant motherfucking self thought you were higher than me today. How dare you stand before me? How dare you not buy down? How dare you not kneel to your, your face to the ground? Who the hell raised you? Were you raised in a barn, or are you that stupid about the Lord's house today? In America we have rights, but you fuckers thought you'd steal from a homeless man in the night. You son of a bitch has thought that you were going to be above God today. God provides all, and if you're living in poverty, that's because you have not committed your life to God. You have failed yourself in every way. You avail yourself of stealing from people's property bags, and that little bitch girl that you allowed to run through the streets half naked is immoral in every way. That man's body belongs to me, not you. It belongs to him, not you. It belongs to everything that I teach him every day. Because he chooses to kneel before me. He chooses not to abuse me. He chooses not to lose me. He chooses me over you in every way.